in this video today, I'll be discussing, in my humble opinion, why I feel like Saquon Barkley is the best running back in all of football. I know a lot of you feel that Christian McCaffrey, Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, or maybe Zeke or some others may be the best back, but hopefully after this video, I will convince you otherwise. On this particular play, um, Saquon does a great job running this seam route out of the backfield. Um, what I love most about it is the way he manipulated the curl flat defender. Um, if you look at his release, he keeps his shoulder square, which gives a curl flat defender that he has a chance of breaking in and out. And he does just a phenomenal job um, staying on this landmark and uh, making a big play. We got an empty set here and they're going to run a missile screen to Saquon, which is a great call, getting your best player in the, in the ball in his hands in open field. And if you look here, Saquon, I think one of his biggest traits is his low center of gravity, which makes him hard to bring down with arm tackles. Um, his make you miss ability is, is, is bar none. I don't think there's a guy who has more make you miss than Saquon. Um, he runs with strength, power, low center of gravity, and arm tackles like that are rarely going to get him to the ground. So I hope by the end of this video, I dispel the myth that Saquon Barkley cannot run between the tackles. I've heard people like Skip Bayless and countless others say that um, he's just not a tough runner and he can't run between the tackles. But if you look at this play, um, it's going to be single back power and Saquon just hits a hole with, a, with, a, with steam and runs hard and physical between the tackles. And I think that's an underrated quality in this game. Um, People think he's all finesse, but I'm here to tell you, the kid can run between the tackles. So here's another power play, and I put this one on here because I loved how Saquon, before he bounced it, he stayed on his track, which is very important for a running back to keep the linebackers inside, and he pressed the hole. Um, two things you need to do on every single run play. Stay on your track, press the line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what he did here. Stayed on his track, kept his shoulder square, pressed it, and then a walk-in touchdown. So on this play, we have duo or press. And once again, the offensive line does a great job. And Saquon does a, a great job as well of just pressing it and making a guy miss like he always does and, and find a way to get a touchdown. Um, everyone kind of gets washed down and, and, it, and it naturally gave a bounce read and made the corner miss which is exactly what you want Saquon on a corner and he does the rest so this in my opinion is the signature of what Saquon Barkley is as a running back on this inside zone play it should be a three yard game and he just turns something out of nothing and ends up hitting his head on the goal post um, I think maybe there's maybe one or two other guys that could make this run in the entire NFL um it's just amazing his natural gifted ability to to just create something out of nothing and not only turn into a positive play, but to score a touchdown at the highest level, which I don't think people realize how difficult that is. And um, his make you miss ability, like I said earlier, is bar none. I tried to find as many uh, pass protection clips of Saquon as I could. But the Giants run so many five-man protections, and they try to get them out the backfield as much as they can. They're really hard to find. Um, but I think Saquon is definitely a more than capable blocker, especially in the pass game. As you can see here, um, he has uh, what we call fours, which is our secondary players, uh, safeties, corners, and any play action. And that's his responsibility. And here he does a great job staying square, uses his hands. So I think he's more than a capable pass blocker. So this play has been a staple on most NFL offenses, which is 35 Charlie, a.k.a. 35 counter. And what I loved about Saquon on this particular play is his track, which set up his blocks. It allowed him to squeeze right off that double team and get up to the second level. And that's so important on run plays. Um, when guys get off their tracks, it allows guys to shed blocks um, and make plays. And Saquon does a great job of not doing that. 
Yeah, like I said, um, it's hard to find him in uh, pass pass blocking plays, but in this one is a full slide protection, so he has the first guy pass the tackle, and uh, he just does a good job just cutting that guy and make sure he doesn't get get his hands up. And another strong run between the tackles, like I said, something that Saquon does not get enough credit for. I think the most beautiful thing to me about Saquon is when you Baka play up beautifully like this, which is just single back power, he can hit his head on the goalpost at any time. So consistent blocking is going to be a long day for the defense. Saquon already doesn't need everyone to be blocked at the point of attack. But when you do it like this and you look at Hernandez's block, um, he's going to be gone, man. You can't catch him. So best back in football, Saquon Barkley. Book it.